Hi you guys, Richard Curtis here. I'm here today to talk to you about your walk to school. Do you find that actually the walk to school is a bit of a nightmare? Are the children either stopping and refusing to walk or running ahead and disappearing? Are the kids disappearing? And you're like, where have they gone? And actually, they're already at school. Now, a couple of little hints and tips for you. Basically, if your children are running away, then what you need to do is you've got to agree with them how far they can go. If they start running and say for example the end of the road, the lamppost at the end of the road, if they run beyond that then you stop and you wait for them to come back. Now the next thing is okay what happens if the child's having a strop and they either stop or they go on the floor having a scream and all the rest of it, having a meltdown on the floor. Now what do you do? Do you walk ahead and ignore them or do you stop there and you know, pick them up and say come on, come on. Now there's two ways of going at this point. You could either get, well there's three ways technically actually. Now you can walk ahead. If you think it's for attention then don't give them the audience. Walk ahead and wait for them to catch up. It's my advice. So that's number one. Number two is actually if it's a child who's just overloaded, if they're overwhelmed and they're just in complete crisis and you know that cry, just like I know the cry, when you hear that cry that tells you that they're overwhelmed, then actually pick them up, hug them, hold their hand, walk with them. Now the third way is actually, if you want to do it in a hurry, <laughs> is actually to negotiate with the child. So actually, um, if you walk to school nicely and you walk back from school nicely, then I'll get you an ice cream. So actually, if you do such and such, then I will get you, or we will do. Likewise, you could go down the route of, if you don't do this, then you will lose 15 minutes of computer time tonight. It's about teaching your child choice and consequence. So that's the three things. If they're, if they're refusing, they're sat on the floor refusing, Either you walk off, you actually pick them up, hold them, cuddle them and walk with them or you negotiate. That's the three ways of dealing with a child refusing. Okay, now I hope that helps you with your walk to school. Good luck. See you later guys. Alright, bye bye.